But anyways, I'm not sure if y'all heard about this story, but apparently uh, a black teen got punched in the face by a white teen. Don't know why. And apparently he fucked around and found out. So let's look at this story right here. Well, here's the fate of the white teen caught on video punching a black girl in the face. This was reported uh, yesterday because, uh, woo, she got a lot of hair. Anyways, this was updated as of the 22nd at 3.30 p.m. Remember the black girl who was seen in a video scuffling with a white student in the school hallway? Well, six months later, it seems Shorty is finally getting some justice. Y'all need to stop writing like this if you're going to be taken seriously. God dang y'all. Shawnee Mission East High School student Brianna Brown suffered a broken nose after being socked in the face by a white student in the hallway one uh, Monday afternoon last November. According to a bystander video, the scuffle came after Brown confronted two white girls about using a a racial slur, um, which resulted in the white teen taunting her with it and eventually shoving her. Well, you know, we about to find out what happened. If, if, as my mother says, ask stupid questions, get stupid answers. And uh, this girl apparently Asked too many stupid questions. Following months of both students fa- and family demanding accountability, the team pleaded guilty to aggravated battery, great harm, that's the first, in Johnson County Juvenile car- Court, per KSHB's report, the team was sentenced to 18 months in juvenile custody. Wait, what happened last year, you want to know? Uh, a lot of us already know. I, I was just, just pissed the fuck off, personally, but... um. Uh, morning announcements at Shawnee Mission East High School in Prairie Village, uh, Prairie Village, that's a horrible name, Kansas, were interrupted November 15, 2023, when students got up from their seats for a protest. The cause wasn't environment awareness or food insecurity. It was to demand action from the school following an alleged racist act attack. In a video posted by the Kansas Kansas City a defender, a black girl seen confronting two white girls in the hallway for calling their uh, calling her their slave. Oh, I would have whooped your ass too. God dang it, I didn't know that's what they called it. Oh, I would have whooped your ass. Oh, I would have whooped your ass. Don't you ever say that. I don't like being called colored. So if you think I can handle that, can't handle that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm already triggered, motherfucker. Please, you. Ooh. I don't know what to tell you. Um, oh no, 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 no. Someone call 911. You you got to you you got to be strong with this one because I'm gonna whoop your ass if you say that. Ooh. Use a bitch. That's all I'm gonna say about you, ma'am. To say that shit, sir, ma'am, whatever. When the two girls walked away from her, a white boy in the clip is heard saying, man, shut the fuck up. It prompted the black student to swing back around and see who was talking junk. Things got real heated real quick in the next five seconds. Oh, my God. Yes, those are fighting words. Oh, my goodness. The minute that slug came out, I'd have punched you right in the damn mouth. I'd have probably had to go to the hospital for an infection of, of your tooth messing with. I'm telling you, I watch too much damn uh forensics and shit. But, yeah, um, I'll take that cut and I'll take that tetanus shot. But I'm punching you in the mouth. You losing some uh, equipment in that mouth of yours. I'm telling you right now, you might become popular with the boys. Just saying. Um, it prompted. OK, so things got OK, OK. In the video, a little boy dropped his bag on the floor, stormed toward this black girl and pushed her with both hands. As an altercation ensues, the student filming the commotion yells, he said, nigga, he said, nigga, as the two throw punches at each other. First of all, you're not much of a boy. You're not much of a man. You're not much of a male. If you're going to sit your ass up there, you started the shit and then you're going to hit a girl. You a bitch. That's what you are. You a bitch. Anyways, um, there was um the incident ended when a male teacher barged in and picked up the white boy to separate the two. The result was a hospitalization of, of the black student for a broken nose, according to Kansas City Star. You paying for that white boy. However, the students' demonstrations suggest that the high schoolers aren't satisfied with the school's response to what they call the hate crime. Students held signs that read, we demand action, protect students of color. I'm so proud of these damn students. I'm so proud. 
we don't feel safe and take action now. They called on a school leaders. I hope those little girls got their ass whooped too by their parents, by whoever the fuck. I hope they got their ass suspended. Uh, they called on school leaders to take stronger steps to er eradicate racism and issue more serious discipline for discrimination and hate speech. District uh, spokeswoman Kristen Babcock said she could not comment on the incident due to student privacy issues. The district has not said what actions were taken after the fight or whether police were called. We take incidents of racism and physical violence very seriously. Babcock said, I hate your last name. I'm so sorry, but I really don't like your last name. We do have a code of conduct in place and we follow our policy procedures. It is unclear how the school may have punished the white student, but students at the school at the protest claimed he received a suspension they felt was not strong enough punishment. Motherfucker, I feel like you should probably get expelled because it was a hate crime. You were fighting in school. Uh, you fought a what is supposed to be the weaker sex, whatever y'all want to say about that shit. And uh, quite frankly, there's so many things that your ass should have got expelled for. Send your ass to one of them uh, alternative schools, if you ask me. But uh, hey, detentions, uh, um, uh, whatever the fuck they say, 18 months in juvenile detention. I'm good with that. I'm very happy with that. Shit, I hope you do. Uh, I hope you do. I hope they accidentally leave your ass to do late, hard late for about a year, for about a year. The students told the star it wasn't the first time they dealt with racism from other students. One incident involved the principal allegedly calling black students intimidating and looking like they're jo uh, joining, going to jump someone per the defender. You're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. And you need to go to some fucking counseling or something. Fuck, you shouldn't be, you should not be a principal. Why will you better go somewhere where there ain't nothing but white folks and you go to Texas, go to Texas where that one kid is fighting about his hair. Go to that school. I'm pretty sure there's a very high uh, chance you will not bump into that many black students. I can promise. I can almost guarantee you. I can't promise you, but I can almost guarantee you. Go to one of them schools and I, I feel like your intimidations will not be um, uh, felt anymore. I don't think I said what you are intimidated by is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, however, the students told reporters that every time they bring their concerns to the administration, they never really do much about it. That's what I went through when I had to deal with helicoptering fucking toxic male motherfuckers. But that's another story for another day. Anyways, one thing is for sure. It's going to take more than a timeout to resolve this issue. Ross's violence is nothing to play about. You telling me? That motherfucker had nothing to do with the situation. He involved himself, really. And um, you must, like I said, if y'all y'all knew, like I said, I'm staying in a swimming suit till it cools the hell down. It was hot as hell. This is the best I can do. I got a fan on me in real life, but I don't really think, uh, I think I was desperate to get one of my backgrounds to work with water and I didn't consider how hot this looks. So excuse me if you feel like, um, you're hot. Because I know people that be seeing people in sweaters and be like, oh, girl, you make me hot. I never understood that. That The boy had the complexion for, yes, just as, uh, 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 you know, Paul Mooney said, he had the protect, he had the complexion for the protection. Uh, apparently, not that much because enough black people and brown folks was like, fuck you. I'm not about to get my nose broken. And they complained till this motherfucker got sent to juvenile detention. And I ain't mad at you. That was I, that was pride right there for me. But, you know, we still got more fuckery. So don't think I'm going to be smiling anytime soon.